Hello everyone, it's Ryan back on the Syntax Byte. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use input box in VBA and enter the value onto the sheet. So this is a very simple tutorial. We're going to open up our Visual Basic. What we're going to do here is we're going to have a column, first column with names in it. So we're going to have a name header and then we are going to ask the user for their name and enter it what they entered in the input box. Of course this is probably not a super useful example but um, you get the idea. So to get started I'm gonna go ahead and insert a new module where we can have our sub and of course the sub is uh, where basically our VBA is going to begin and you can call this macro any other way that you would call a macro. So you can use a button, you can just press the run button in the VBA editor, or you can go over to macros and run it from there. So any way that you would ordinarily run a macro is going to work with this. Now first off we need to get the name from the input box. So I'm going to go ahead and say name equals input box. And the first and only required argument is the prompt. And I'm going to say, what is your name? We can also add a title. I'll say name entry. OK, now you will note that I'm not using application.inputbox. Those are two separate functions. So uh, there is a application.inputbox method, and then there is an inputbox function. Uh, the application dot input box has some validation features that allow you to enter only numbers, only text, that sort of thing. We're not going to use that today. But just be aware that those are two different ones, although they take pretty much the same parameters, so this code should still work if you wrote application dot input box. The next thing we want to do is check if the user actually entered a name. Um, they could have either canceled or they could have simply clicked OK with an empty string. Um, so we're just going to say if name is not equal to an empty string, then we will do, I'm going to use the Excel up trick to find sort of the next available position for the name. So in order to do that, I'm going to do range and we'll say a hundred thousand. So our application would only support a hundred thousand names, but I think that's enough. We'll do dot end Excel up. And then that's going to find the very bottom. So we want to just offset that by one row and zero columns. And then we want to go ahead and set the value equal to that name that we just got from the user. And if. And of course, if they just give us an empty string or they cancel, we don't want to do anything. We can just close the box. So with that being done, we can go ahead and run it and see if it works. So it says, what is your name? And it says name entry. I can go ahead and say, my name is Ryan if I can spell correctly. And uh, it goes ahead and goes back to the box, but you can see that right there we have our name. Now we can just cancel it, nothing too interesting happens. Uh, we can go ahead and hit OK, again nothing too interesting happens, and then um, you know we can do syntax byte um, is our name, syntax byte appears. So that is a simple example using input box to return a value onto a sheet that the user has entered. I hope you found it valuable, and if you liked it, please feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Excel VBA tutorials, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.